recently I got invited to go to a mega church in uh, San Antonio, Texas, Oak Hills Church. And, and that's weird because a lot of atheists are like, oh, you got invited to speak to a mega church? I would love to speak to a mega church. That would be amazing. I have so many things I would say to them. It's like, yeah, that's, that's why you're not invited. <laughs> but the reason it even came about is one of the pastors at that church, Randy Frazee, um, a long time ago, I visited his church anonymously when I was writing I Sold My Soul on eBay, and I saw him deliver a service, and I, I wrote about what I liked about his sermon and what I didn't like, and he caught wind of that, and he said, you know, you were critical of me, but it, was, it seemed like fair criticism, so why don't you come back to my church? This was uh, at Willow Creek in Chicago, a uh, big mega church in Chicago. He said, why don't you come back on stage with me? And we'll talk about what you liked and didn't like about church, what you liked and didn't like about Christians. Um, And we'll do it on stage in front of, you know, thousands and thousands of Christians. Because, you know, something that they take very seriously is evangelism and reaching out to people like me who don't believe in God. So why not hear firsthand how a lot of their uh, interaction comes off? You know, so we had a really pleasant conversation. Um, And it wasn't about, you know, proving God's right or wrong. It wasn't about scoring points with each other like a lot of debates are. It was just about, you know, hey, look, if if you're a Christian and you want to reach out to me, uh, don't preach a magical Bible verse to me. Don't put your hands on me like you're going to save me. Don't think that I haven't read the Bible, because I promise you most atheists have read the Bible. We we talked about things like that. And, And the response we got at Willow Creek was overwhelmingly positive that it wasn't contentious, it was just a pleasant conversation. And if a pastor and an atheist can do it on stage in front of thousands of people, why can't the Christians in the crowd do it with their atheist friends at school or at work or in their own lives? And so that was that was six years ago or so. So Randy Frazee now pastors at a church in Texas, and he said, why don't we try doing that again? Because, you know, for one, this crowd hasn't heard that conversation, and it was fun. Why not just try it again? And so again, we went in with just those few ground rules. We're not about to score points. We're not trying to beat down the other with our arguments and prove the other person is wrong. The goal is just to have a real conversation about our differences of beliefs and show show the people in the congregation that you can have these conversations. You can talk about, you know, how Christians make me feel. And I think they deserve to know that. You should know that if you treat me in a certain way, there's nothing you're going to say or do that's going to make me want to come to your side. And there are ways to have a conversation where both sides feel respected, but it, you could still kind of hold on to your beliefs. So we had this conversation. We did it four times over the course of a weekend. There, there may have been at least like 8,000 people there. And apparently, from what I read, a few people actually walked out before I ever got on stage. So they just didn't want to hear what an atheist had to say about anything. And that's disappointing. But, but most people stayed and most people, a lot of people came up to me after the services and, and they were just very nice. And they said, you know, they appreciated my being there. You know, it's kind of weird uh, for an atheist to go in front of 8,000 Christians and talk about atheism. Um, but they made me feel very nice and comfortable and at home. And of course, you know, a lot of people afterwards, uh, they prayed for me. They told me they prayed for me. They hoped I would see the light. They, they wished me luck on my path. That's, that's one I found interesting. They wished me luck on my journey, as if I'm not done with my journey because the end of the journey would be, I believe in God. And it's like, I kind of want to tell them, you know, well, you're praying for me, I will think for you, I guess. And if you think I'm, wish me luck on my journey, I feel like I've already finished that journey and I feel like I'm at the right place. So, you know, it's funny how even after they heard this conversation between myself and the pastor, they still said things that in the back of my head, I'm like, that's really off-putting. And I know you mean well, so I'm not going to like start an argument with you here. But it's amazing how Christianese just kind of seeps into their everyday language. Um, and, and, you know, one of the things I saw when I went to the church, uh, Randy showed me the introduction. Pastor Randy Frazee showed me the introduction he was going to use. And because my website is Friendly Atheist, he said, you know, Hemant isn't an angry atheist. Then, you know, we had a conversation about that. And I said, you know, I don't like that because it suggests that every atheist but me is angry and we're really not. And he was very nice. He's like, oh, well, let me change that because I don't want to imply that at all. And there were a few times back and forth where, you know, we talked beforehand about what we wanted this conversation to be like. And anytime there was anything that I didn't like or he didn't like, we could just say it to each other and we fixed it right then and there. I thought it was a really good dialogue. I thought it was fun. 
I thought it was informative. I, I think a lot of churches would do well to find local atheists to come to their church and just talk about religion and talk about atheism in a way that's not, you know, hammering it down everyone's throat. Because believe me, a lot of evangelical Christians want to know how to reach out to atheists. I don't think it's going to work, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to have an interaction with you. And if you're going to have those interactions, you should know how to do it so that it's respectful as much as it can be and so that you can leave at the end of the day shaking each other's hands and still being friends. And after four services with Pastor Frazee, um, we shook each other's hands and we're, we're still on good terms. So I, I think that's a victory for both of us. My name is Hemant Mehta. I write at FriendlyAtheist.com. And if you have any questions for us, please leave them in the comments.